Okay guys, this week we are being confronted with a Saturnian lesson, a Saturnian soul lesson. It is not particularly comfortable, but I feel like this will be life altering on multiple levels once we fully integrate this. And my kitty cat agrees. Thank you for visiting. Beautiful kitty. So I'm saying this is a Saturnian lesson because so this is a timeless reading. It, this is relevant for you this week whenever you see this, but for those of you watching it when I post it, we just got through the Sun in Leo opposite Saturn in Aquarius. So that's of course been a theme ongoing for, you know, weeks now, <laughs> but it was just exact a couple of days ago and you probably felt it. <laughs> it, it was this um, this peak peak of tension between the self and the other. This peak of tension between the self and the other. And it took me a little bit to figure out like, what's the lesson in this? What's the lesson in this? Why is this so uncomfortable, right? Why is this so uncomfortable? And the lesson, if I were to boil it down, is to find and truly experience compassion for those who've had it easier than you. For those who Maybe a better way is to say who seem to have had it easier than you because this this is very layered. So I, I need to kind of work through the layers here. The first, the first part of this is being able to look at someone and from your human experience, you look at them and you go, but you've had it so much easier. <laughs> you've had it so much easier than me. And, and that brings up all kinds of feelings within you, right? Of why has it been so hard for me? Or even even feelings such as why was I able to succeed? Or why was I able to rise above? Or why was I able to persevere or overcome or to heal when others would have failed or really even objectively did fail in my situation, right? As you can tell, these type of feelings, they're, they're not ones that we typically like to express. And it, when we do express them, we might feel bad about them because these are, uh, these are not very flattering feelings to have, right? And that's why I'm gonna go ahead and, and just speak them aloud for all of us here, because we all have them. And these, these, these kind of things really, really can fester because we can look at other people and go, I don't understand why, why does that, why is that situation so hard for them? If I was in that situation, it would be so easy for me. It seems so easy to just solve their problem, right? I don't understand why they're struggling so hard. Or you can look at someone and, and think, they seem to be in so much pain, but really, they, why don't they understand that their situation is so simple and so easy, right? It's like they have it so much easier than me, and they 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 can't possibly understand how I have suffered so much more, right? All all of these types of very unflattering, very unflattering feelings. Um, so of course, hand in hand with this comes the you know request here to really kind of meditate on this and go: Do we ever really? understand how much pain someone else is in? Do we ever really understand how hard it has been for them, right? What, what about all the invisible suffering, the invisible suffering, the invisible pain, the invisible wounds, right? The invisible suffering, the invisible pain, the invisible wounds. You know, the whole subjectivity and relativity of suffering. This is all a big thing to be feeling into, to be meditating on, to be contemplating. So to, to it, it's like there are so many, so many levels to this because it's this and that. It is this and that. It might be true that you have had it harder than others and it might be true that they have it easier than you. It might even be true that you're, that you have endured and overcome greater suffering and greater pain. That might be true. It might also be true that everyone hurts the same and that if we could truly feel each other's pain we would understand that we're all feeling the same pain 
you know, it, it's it's both. It just depends on how you're looking at it and where you're standing and what your perspective is and what like um, spiral of consciousness you're, you're tuning into on this. So these are the very fun <laughs> themes of the week, guys. <laughs> Um, and so coming back to the first thing I said was the theme, the lesson here is to, I scared my cat away. She doesn't like the shuffling, <laughs> um, to, to, to really, truly feel compassion for those, honestly, if we're going to get really real here. And of course we're getting really real because Saturn is involved. If we're going to get really real. This is about feeling compassion for those you once held in contempt right? We've all done it. We've all done it. It is so hard to admit. Nobody wants to admit it, but we've all looked at someone and felt contempt for them at some point in our lives, right? At some point, even if that, even if that was a feeling you quashed right away, even if you understood how like not good of a feeling that is to have, you've probably had it at some point, right? Looked at someone and just gone, you don't know how good you've got it and 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 feeling like i feel contempt for you because you can't seem to get over your problem that isn't really a problem right we've all had these thoughts no one wants to admit it <laughs> so this is what we're dealing with this week and if we don't i i'm like being extremely blunt here because if we don't just confront this and that's what saturn is saturn is influencing us to do right like come out and just confront this head on because if we don't confront these feelings that we have within ourselves and if we don't confront this bigger pattern of these recurring issues that we have of essentially failing to feel compassion for those who seem to be having it easier than us right who seem to be suffering less but whining more right someone who seems to be struggling really hard over something very small and then whining really loudly about it. And then maybe we even feel bitter sometimes because they get all the attention and they get all the help and where's my help, right? All of those types of feelings, these things, nobody wants to talk about it because nobody wants to admit that they feel like this. <laughs> but if we don't like address this and this is the week to do it, right? If we don't confront this and address this, then these feelings will continue to fester and they tend when they, when they fester and they fester and they fester, they tend to explode in interpersonal drama, right? Because we're not confronting these feelings and we're certainly not expressing them. And we're, we're usually not expressing them to the people that we might have these fleeting feelings of contempt for. Cause sometimes maybe even most of the time when we really, when we have that horrible feeling of contempt rise up, Sometimes it's for someone, this, like someone that you love the most, right? Sometimes it's for some, one of the people you love the most. And this is like at the bottom of so many like family drama, relationship drama, BFF drama, right? This is like, it's at the root of so much of it because then the feelings eventually at some point when you get so fed up and so hurt and so triggered, then it just comes out in nasty horrible ways right nasty horrible ways so we don't want to continue the nasty horrible expression of these feelings we want to confront them this week and release it and evolve, evolve beyond it <laughs> look what came out in reverse work through your fears new moon in scorpio so that's interesting because the the um, so a note, this is for people watching this when I post it, right? The, um, the recent uh, fixed grand cross, right? The recent fixed grand cross between the sun in Leo, Saturn in Aquarius, Uranus and the north node in Taurus and the south node in Scorpio. Brings us to Scorpio, brings us to Scorpio. And, these, and so Scorpio energy is involved here, is involved in this because That feeling of wanting to lash out with your scorpion stinger, right? That feeling of wanting to lash out with your stinger. Of course, this is another, <laughs> this this is just, isn't this a fun reading, guys? Isn't this fun? <laughs> I mean, absolutely not fun, <laughs> but you know, <laughs> wait, wait, we've all, we've all been there. We don't want to admit it, but when you're really in it, in it, like when you're really getting into it with someone, right? Sometimes you want to like, 
you want to sting them with your scorpion tail, right? You want to sting them with your scorpion tail. And that's basically because most of the time, why are you doing that? It's because you want them to feel what you feel. You want them to hurt the way you hurt so that then they understand, right? So that then they understand. Then they understand how much more you hurt. Maybe it's that, right? Or maybe it's you want them to understand how much more you hurt. Maybe it's that you want them to understand that you hurt just as bad as they do. Maybe you want them to understand that there's a different flavor, a different quality, a different type of suffering and pain that you have experienced that they have yet to experience. But hey, guess what? You can show it to them by hurting them the way you were hurt. And how did you get hurt in the first place? Someone hurt you Same for the same reason. It's this chain of passing on pain, this chain of pain, this chain of wounding, and we just keep doing it. So this is what we're doing here this week is we're breaking the chain of pain. We're breaking the chain of wounding, breaking the chain of contempt, breaking the chain of pain, wounding, and contempt, right? And we do that. We do that by finding it <laughs> in our hearts, right? Finding it within ourselves to feel compassion for someone, even if it seems to you like they have it easier than you, right? while simultaneously the more mature part of yourself, the higher part of yourself, the more conscious part of yourself is also working on lessons of <laughs> nothing will come of this situation, void of course moon is also, <laughs> this is like, this is like, let me finish my sentence and I'll come back to this. That more mature part of yourself is also working on the understanding that none of this really matters, right? The, the whole pain comparison game isn't something that is useful for you to be doing. It is part of the, interesting, I, I talked about that in a recent video, the, the assumption of hierarchy, right? The assumption of hierarchy that, so this pain comparison game, the comparative pain game, the, the comparative pain game is part of the patterning that we have here on earth that is rooted in the assumption of hierarchy and the assumption of someone's somehow doing better than you or doing worse than you in a way that somehow gives you more street cred, right? Like, like if, 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 you, if you've got it so bad and you've overcome this great big horrible problem, then like, right now you get to feel all like, ha, like I did it, right? I did it. And it's, it's so there's so, there's so many of these things that are all rooted in this assumption of hierarchy and this is, and that's, that's part of what, is being eroded here. We're literally eroding these hierarchical structures, th this assumption of hierarchy and these comparative structures because when something like pain becomes involved in a hierarchy, a hierarchy of pain, when something like pain and suffering and wounds and struggle, when that gets placed on a hierarchy or when it gets placed within a system and then we sit there and compare, Man, that's a, no one wins there. No one wins. That's not good for anybody. Nothing will come of this situation, right? All of, there's a whole thing, this whole gnarly, nasty mess of comparing pain, putting pain on a hierarchy, right? It's like, there's something deep inside each of us that really wants to do it and like does do it like subconsciously right it's like something we do even unconsciously we even do it unconsciously just like have you ever gotten like have you ever i mean let's just talk about physical pain for a second right i mean i've, I've actually been ta speaking under the assumption that we're talking about like emotional pain like psychic pain mental pain right like inner inner experience of pain but this is also of course includes physical pain and that's a pretty pretty good way to look at this as well um because of course with physical pain, it, it's easier to understand that there are different tolerances and different thre thresholds for pain. Just take a look at something like heat sensitivity, right? I happen to have, for whatever reason, maybe it's because I've burnt my fingers so many times, um, I have a fairly high tolerance for heat. Like I, I can pick up a hot dish and I can carry it. I can take things out of the oven 
um, like so like easier than some of the people I know, right? And other people, they will touch something hot and they'll like like yelp and then drop it and they won't be able to touch it. They'll say it's too hot and then they'll be like, you know, I burnt myself, I burnt myself, and then I can go pick it up and, and I can move it. And it is hot, it does feel hot to me, but it doesn't burn me. And even if I get like a little bit of a burn, like, you know, if you just kind of touch your hand on the side of the, the inside of the toaster, right? If you just singe your finger real quick, like a really, just a very small type of toaster burn on your finger, right? That's the kind of thing where I won't even, I won't even really notice. Like I will be aware in the back of my mind that I burnt my finger, but I like won't do anything about it. I'll just continue throughout my day and it'll kind of be an irritating sensation in the back of my mind for the rest of the day. And that's kind of it. Other people will be essentially <laughs> Like, see, and I'm doing it. You can tell in my voice, like, I, I, <laughs> it's like I'm judging. I'm judging people who, like, burn their hand in the toaster and then sit for the rest of the day holding a bag of ice and feeling really sorry for themselves. It's like, I, it's like I don't understand, like, why is that such a big deal, right? And so I'm <laughs> exposing, like, myself living out this kind of example here, right? It's like, sometimes I feel like, why are they being such a whiner? It's just a little burn on your finger, right? And, and so I, I, <laughs> like, I try, I try to remember that it, I mean, I don't, I don't know how much it's hurting them. Maybe it physically does hurt them more than it hurts me. Maybe I've like killed off some of the nerves in my fingers because I've burnt myself so many times, right? Um, or maybe they just want to baby their finger and like they should have that right, right? So like it, it's that type of thing. And that whole, all, all of the judgmental feelings involved in the scenario I just described are completely useless to us and like they they gotta go and they're coming up to be transmuted to be released right now because it's like why why are we like that right why are we like that and it, it I, I I say why are we like that not to really kind of figure out why we're actually like that because of course we're like that for because of all of these different reasons in the past and you know whatever and looking to the past to figure out how we got like this isn't actually really going to help us move forward. What's going to help us move forward is focusing forwards, looking forwards and finding compassion, finding common ground, right? Finding compassion, finding common ground and focusing on that, right? Focusing on compassion and focusing on moving forward. So this is, I feel like Everything we've been doing over the past six months of practicing, focusing our awareness, practicing, raising our consciousness, practicing, letting things go. It's, it's all been leading up, I mean, to many, many things. One of the things it's been leading up to is this. Now we can use our ability, our, our sharp, we now all have a sharper ability to focus our awareness on what is useful. We now all have a sharper ability to let go of thoughts that don't serve us. Right? So now we're going to use that. We're going to use that. We're going to use that to stop putting energy into feelings of contempt and judgment. Right? And we're going to instead focus on compassion and common ground and moving forward. <laughs> Two of Swords. And isn't it interesting that in this deck, the Two of Swords here is actually subtexted with peace. Peace. We have these two swords, but they are not crossing in conflict. They are not crossing in battle. They are crossing in peace, right? They are crossing in peace. They have met in the middle of their blades. They have found the center point. They have found the middle. They have found the balance. And guess what? These two swords that could be fighting, could be arguing, they're exactly the same. <laughs> they are exactly the same, these two swords. Why are they fighting? Why are they comparing themselves? Why are they trying to put themselves on a hierarchy? Why are they trying to figure out who has it better? Why are they trying to figure out who has it worse? Why are they trying to figure out who's experienced more pain or what type of pain is worse? They're the same. They're exactly the same. They're made out of the same metal. They came out of the same mold. They were made by the same hand. They are the same. So that's, that's going to be it. <laughs> Good luck, guys.
sending you so much love and light. Bye.